Good morning, everyone. Um, can I just say from an employer's perspective, we do see that this as being a real issue and that we acknowledge that there is a risk that the um, frequency of musculoskeletal conditions in the workforce are likely Aunt Mary, to increase. Mary, could you favour yourself a bit more with the microphone? Yeah. Okay, can you hear me now? Is that better? Okay. Um, you know, we acknowledge that it is a significant issue for employers that we work with on a day-to-day -day basis for the employees as well as for the state. And we see that we need to get better mechanisms in place to support employees to stay at work and to manage um, their ailment. Um, in terms of, of dealing with it, you know, um, employers are conscious that there's sort of medical issues that need to be dealt with and that fall into um, the medical arena to be managed. There's rehabilitation actions that may need to be taken either in the workforce, in the workplace, or by the employee. And then there's how the organisation actually deals with it. Um, you know, generally we find that you know, large employers are better at handling individuals who may have an illness in the workplace. They have better supports and mechanisms in place. Whereas when you talk to smaller organisations, they actually struggle to know what to, how to deal with an individual who may be coming in with a medical certificate and have a, a condition that needs to be managed. Um, often there isn't, there, we know there isn't a high degree of awareness among, um, say, the HR community or among employers about MSDs. So we do think there is the capacity to improve the information flow out there, both in terms of what it is, how it could be managed better, and also for employees to feel more comfortable coming forward about what they are suffering from and how that could be managed. Um, my colleagues here on my right have mentioned the issue of um, the uh, medical certificate. And when you are wearing a HR hat, it can be quite awkward to be working with an employee when your only real key official communication is that certificate, because it doesn't give guidance in terms of how to manage that person in the workplace. So developing the whole medical certification scheme, we think uh, we see as being key to trying to manage this better in the workplace. Um, you know, employers would benefit from knowing about how they could support the individual employee and um, what sort of interventions and adaptations would be of benefit. Um, the medical certificate at the moment tends to be sort of just saying whether or not they are fit for work or not fit for work. And that means that there isn't good information in terms of could a person work um, on a part-time basis? Could they do part of their role? Could they work um, um, in a different role? What are the actual barriers to them doing their job? And whether actually it is a workplace issue or whether it is a medical issue. So there's a lot of information gaps there. Now, even filling those information gaps doesn't mean that every employer can always facilitate it. But with the information gap, they're not even in a good position to make maybe support um, an employee where they might. We also find it difficult when we come up against the social welfare system because the social welfare system tends to sign people off in terms of being out of work and entitled to payment on a weekly basis. And that of itself runs in conflict to bringing people back maybe on a part-time or a flexible arrangement. Now we welcome the development that the Minister talked about in terms of the partial capacity scheme, but at the moment, and we're glad to hear she's interested in feedback on it, at the moment that is only eligible for people who have been out of work for over six months and really what we want to do is to keep people engaged with the work police so that they don't end up out for periods like six months. So a more flexible approach within the social welfare system is one of the things that may have to be addressed as part of this. Um, we have been looking at the um, work that um, Professor Bevan was talking about that's going on in the UK with the um, referral service. And we think that that actually is an interesting model to be explored and it links into the case management model that um, John Church was talking about earlier in terms of having an avenue whereby the employee can go and get a broader diagnosis and information can come back to the employer about what would help that person um, in the workplace. So some kind of model that will actually provide that sort of 
detailed um, information back into employment um, is of is, is is needed as we go forward. Our current systems have been there for a long time, and really, I suppose, what when we're hearing the costs and the extent of, of illness today, it's showing that they are no longer really fit for purpose. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much indeed, Mary.